Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and also don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel. In this video particularly, we will learn how to use Java string length method. With this method, we can be able to find out the length of a string and uh, what this method does is that it counts the number of characters in a string including the white spaces because the white spaces are also considered to be characters in the string. And after counting all the characters, it returns an integer number representing the total number of characters uh, in a given string. So actually the length of a string uh, variable is actually the total number of uh, characters in that string. So I'm gonna walk you through um, some code to show you how you can use that method in order to determine the length of your string or a number of characters in your string. And uh, here I have already declared two string variables. And uh, as we know that uh, when we evaluate our, uh, this length method, it will return an integer value. So we will also declare uh, some integers here that we will call value one. So that, integer is going to store the value that will be returned uh, when our method will be evaluated. Okay, so here we will say sentence one. So when we evaluate the length of uh, our first string variable, we will store it in the integer value one variable. And here we will write length and this put the brackets like this. So this method is the length method. And as you can see, it does not take any parameter and, uh, and it returns an integer value. So that integer will be stored. In, uh, that value will be stored in this integer um, variable. And uh, we will do the same. So I will just copy and then paste. I will let on change value one into value two and here i will do sentence two and after this what i would do i would do a system that out that print line and inside i will simply put um a string and i will say the length of the first string is equal to and uh, I will do a concatenation. So here I will write my uh, variable, my integer variable. So I will say value one, because we want to get the length of our first uh, string. Okay. And do like this. And then I will just copy this in order to output the length of my second uh, string of the second the length of the second string is equal to value two because value two is used to store you know the value that is returned when this length string this statement is evaluated when our method is evaluated so if i run and uh, you will see that in my console what i have is the length of the first string is equal to 13 and the length of the second string is equal to 15. So if you count these characters, you will definitely find 13 for the first uh, string and you will also find 15 for the second string. And mind you, you need to consider the white spaces as characters as well. So hello, here we have um, five characters with this, this white space here, we have uh, six characters in the word world, we have uh, five characters as well. Five plus six is 11. We have a white space here, which makes it 12. And then we have this exclamation mark, which makes it 13. So this number is correct. And you can also count this string uh, as well. You will find out that the number of characters is 15 if you take into account the white spaces. So that that was actually it. And one way we can do that, just for your information, instead of uh, putting, declaring this integer values, uh, variables, you can directly 
let me just uh, remove this one. So instead of using the variables, I can directly evaluate my method here by writing sentence one, that length, okay, and then put the brackets like this. And uh, here for the second, I'll do sentence two, that length, like this. So that when I run, in the output, the output of this statement is going to be the integer value that is returned when this method is evaluated, okay? So if I run, you will see nothing will change. I will still get 13 and 15 here as the length of my um, strings uh, variable. So that was it. Uh, on how you can get the length of your string. And as you can see here, the way I have written my um, method here, I, you need to write the, your string variable and then the length so that the method is actually going to uh, get the length of that specific string that you uh, wanna get the length for. So guys, that was it. I hope this video was informative and thanks for viewing. And please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe in order to get updates whenever we publish new videos. So let's meet in the next video. Thanks a lot.